And again, we move down to two huge weights. The last two weights of this duel, we move to 125 pounds, where we have the defending national champion for Iowa, Spencer Lee, rated number two, taking on the transfer from West Virginia. It's number 14, Zeke Moisey. And Sean, once again, a star laden weight right here. Yes, this is one of the big matchups here. Um, Moisey just needs to stick to his game plan, stay off the bottom. Lee's very good on top, gets across wrist, will turn anyone. So it's important here that Moisey just stays patient, looks to get to his attacks, and just wrestles a smart match. Because Spencer Lee has one, up, one loss on the year. And Moisey gets two points for the takedown on the defending national champion. Sticking to his game plan, just like I said. Look for Spencer, though. He's a competitor. He's not one takedown. You know, isn't going to fluster him as a competitor. He's going to look to build up to his feet and get to a position where he can score some points. And for Moisey, it's about wrestling a complete seven-minute match. He got the takedown on number one, Sebastian Rivera, a few weeks ago in the Northwestern duel, but eventually got pinned. So it's about wrestling a complete match for Moisey, who has been on and off so far this season. He has a nine and six record, five and four in duels, four and three in the Big Ten, while Spencer Lee is 12 and one, four and one in the Big Ten, eight no in duel. And last week when Iowa dueled Northwestern, it was supposed to be Lee number two going against Rivera number one, but Lee did not wrestle against Rivera. A decision made by Tom Brands, the head coach, who said it was a team decision not to wrestle Lee against Rivera. And Lee will get the escape and look for the takedown as he has one leg on Moisey. And there it is, two points for the defending national champion. It's important here that good job by Moisey moving and, oh, we might have been off the mat so we don't get one, but Moisey's really gonna have to move here because Spencer Lee is a hammer on top. So it is Moisey on bottom, Lee on top. 140 to go in the opening period. We're in a close one. Spencer Lee with the slim 3-2 lead over Zeke Moisey. Lee's getting to his chicken wing here. He, he likes to get in that position. Moisey's doing a good job at moving. And a nice mat return by Lee. Both working near the edge of the mat. They go off once again. They're going to reset. So far this season, Moisey is 2-4 and four versus ranked opponents. Four of his six losses this year has come against top 20 competition. And he finished seventh at the Cliff Keen Invite in Las Vegas. All for Lee, 3-1 and one versus top 20 opponents. 4-1 and one at the Midlands Championships. And of course, like mentioned, the defending national champion at 125. And he did that as a freshman a season ago, where he finished 22 and two, third at the Big Ten Championships, was named the Big Ten Freshman of the Year, and led the Big Ten in dual winning percentage, the fastest fall, and with the most tech falls in the league at eight. But now, Spencer Lee has got Moisey on his back and in trouble. Swipes coming for the referee, looking for the pin. More than four swipes for Spencer Lee. Now looking to get Moisey, he's in trouble. Close to the pin. Still looking at it. Iowa fans want it. And they're off the mat before a pin can be made. Great job by Spencer Lee there, going to his bread and butter, chicken wing, flip him over the back. No, having great mat awareness, keeping his toe inbound, but then you gotta look at Moisey. He was on his back, he found the mat awareness, and he got off the mat to not get the fall. So Lee goes up seven to two over Zeke Moisey. Seven unanswered points for Spencer Lee after the early takedown by Moisey. 
Two seconds to go, and there goes the buzzers. The first period comes to an end. Spencer Lee, the sophomore, leads Zeke Moise 7-2 as we go to the second period. It is Lee's decision, and they will start on bottom. Moise, also an impressive resume his freshman year, but instead it's going to be a reversal for Spencer Lee. He gets two more points. Moise was going for one of his moves that he likes to do, and Lee looked like he was ready for it, and that's what caused him to give up the reversal. Both near the edge of the mat once again. Riding time up to a minute 44 for Spencer Lee. As they go off the mat, they'll reset. Moisey finished as the NCAA runner-up his freshman year. Once again, he was with West Virginia at the time. And he also qualified for the NCAA tournament in 2016 as well. And did so last season, where he finished eighth and earned All-American status his second time doing so. He spent four years at West Virginia, took a medical red shirt in 2017, wrestled his junior season last year, and now transferred to Nebraska for a senior year. Lee's doing a good job here at keeping the pressure on him, not letting him build up and getting to that chicken wing that he's been getting to the whole entire match. And again, Lee almost got Moisey to his back. We got 48 seconds to go in the second period. Riding time up to two and a half minutes for Lee. And we get a potentially dangerous move called on Lee. The refs really do a good job watching those chicken wings, making sure the aggressor doesn't get his um, grip past the 90 degree mark that could put someone's shoulder in potentially dangerous position. And now Lee almost got Moise on his back there. 30 seconds to go in the second period. Spencer Lee leads Zeke Moise 9-2, and Moise is going to get hit with the stalling warning. Here comes a roll through tilt, looking for some more swipes. And again. Two swipes from the referee, two points for Lee. He goes up 11 to two. Five seconds to go second period. And that will end it. We go to the third with Spencer Lee, the defending national champion, up 11 to two with 3.15 of riding time. And both will start on their feet to begin the third period. Moisey's going to look to get back to that leg attack that he got to right away on Lee, kind of to start the tempo of the match out. And yeah, again, Moisey got the opening takedown on Lee, but Lee with 11 unanswered points. And has this match well under control with a minute and a half to go. Shot by Moisey is shut down there by Lee. Another shot by Moisey, he's got one leg. Looking to circle around, get two points. Still neutral position. Lee, Lee's holding a nice firm whizzer and that's kind of why they stay. Oh, Moisey goes around, gets two points. Two points for Moisey, makes it 11 to four. But there's 53 seconds to go. Stall call on Lee, and they're looking for the reversal. Is the sophomore, and there it is. He's get back points. Looking for the pin as Lee. No, Moisey gets back on his stomach. Four point near fall for Lee. It's 17 to four. Moisey again is going for going for a big move there, trying to get his opponent on his back. 
Lee seems to know it's coming, and they kind of ended up in a position, and Moise got off his back, needs to build up here for Nebraska, and Lee's looking to get some bonus points. 10 seconds to go. It's a 13 point lead, 17 to four with the riding time in Lee's back pocket. And he's gonna pull out the 18-4 victory over Zeke Moisey. And so that makes it a major decision, one short of a tech fall. So Iowa will take a 16-13 lead going into the final match of the day.